Hey people, what's up? It's me again, Youngmaster3, and today I'm going to make a sort of a special type of list. Uh, this is going to be a top 10, 15 uh, disturbing horror movies, or just disturbing movies in general. Um, now this is not going to be like a top 10, 15, like most disturbing movies or anything. This is basically going to be a top 15 um, best disturbing uh, movies. So. It is movies that are disturbing, but they are also a very good movie uh, as well. Because so, sometimes you watch a movie, you think, oh my god, that's just disgusting, it's vile and cruel. But you think the movie itself is just shit. For example, um, uh, Debris Documentar by Marandora, I think that's one of the most dis disturbing and disgusting films of all time. But I think the movie itself is shit. So. Those sort of movies is not going to be in, on this list. This is basically going to be uh, horror movie. Um, doesn't have to be a horror movie, but um, basically uh, movies that are just disturbing or disgusting that I do think are really great movies. So uh, yeah, I have to begin right away before the time just goes by. First off, we got Dead Girl at number fifteen. Um, not, I don't hear really that many people talk about this, to be honest. Uh, it's about two guys that like find a dead corpse, or they think it is a dead corpse of a girl, but she is alive and she's some sort of mutated and stuff. And one of the guys decides that they can use her as a rape, uh, rape object, if you say so. So uh, yeah, dead girl at number fifteen. I'm not going to talk that much about each and every title because that will just take too long time. Too long time. Um, at number 14, we have a Larry Clark movie, a Larry Clark movie called Kids. Now I have to admit, the first time I watched this, I was like, "What the hell? Did I like this or not?" But after I watched it the second time, I think it is it is very, a very tragic movie, and towards the end, it just goes crazy. I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but. Um, Definitely one of Larry Clark's best movies, uh, in my opinion. Um, sadly, some of the actors in this passed away, and someone committed suicide, and someone died of a drug overdose or something. But that's all another story. Uh, kids at number fourteen, and at number thirteen we have a Japanese movie. This is so weird, and that's just the reason why I like it. Um, we got Naked Blood, also known as Splatter Naked Blood about a son to a doctor, no not a son to a doctor, uh, yeah a son, yeah I, I was right, a son to a doctor which uh, he sort of uh, tries to make a new sort of drug, so he makes violent, uh, a drug that makes violence more enjoyable, or yeah, self mutation, mutation, not self mutation, self mutilation, well, I'm, I'm just going to quit talk about the movie because I can't speak right now. But, uh, yeah, if you have if you haven't seen this movie, I can really recommend it. I mean, it's not maybe the best movie in the world, but I think it has really cool and great special effects. Of course, because Japanese movies always have cool effects, or for the most part. Uh, yeah, but uh, Naked Blood, also known as Splatter Naked Blood, at number 13. Number 12, we have a French movie, which was part of the French horror extreme cinema movies that were re was released over the years. And the movie is Frontiers. I think most people already know about this movie, so I'm not going to talk that much about it. But yeah, Frontiers. A number, number 12? I think, yeah, number 12. And then we have, at number 11, we have The Human Centipede, the first one. Don't get me wrong, I do love, I do really like the second one as well. But the second one is more disturbing, but I think the first one is a better movie. So uh, that's the reason why the first one is on the list instead of the second one. But yeah, I really love the Doctor in the first one, he's just so crazy and I think he's a great actor. Uh, he's called Dieter Laser and yeah, I think you maybe already know about this, but yeah, the first human seemed to be that number... Man, at number 11. And at number 10, now we're in the top 10 list. Or in the top 10, or yeah, whatever. Martyrs, everyone already knows about this. this now I just have to speed up, that's why I'm not talking about 
each and every title here. But and at number nine we have a South Korean movie released back in 2007, I guess. Um, it sort of has this type of guinea pig type feeling to it. The movie is The Butcher. If you haven't seen this, check it out. It's basically uh, about the victims. They have like cameras attached to their heads so you can see it from the victim's point of view. And I think that idea itself is just really cool and really awesome. So, uh, yeah, The Butcher at number, at number 9. And at number 8 we have a movie uh, directed by the writer of uh, Larry Clark's Kids called Kumo. Now, I think this is not really that disturbing. I mean, I th it is disturbing in some parts, basically the animal cruelty in it, which I wasn't a big fan of, but the movie itself is just another uh, one of those that are just really weird. It's more of a, an exper experimental type movie. Um, yeah. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's one of a kind, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. Kumo. And at number seven, well, I'm just gonna see if I can do this right. Yeah. Uh, at number six, I guess. No, oh, at number seven, sorry. We have Faces of Death. Now, this might shock some of you because I've heard so many people say that this movie is complete shit. And this is sort of a sheet because this is more like a documentary type movie than a real horror movie. And very many clips up from this is fake. And but there are still some clips in this documentary that are real. Uh, I really love love the narration in this uh, the whole calm voice and some of the creepy soundtrack that they've uh, chosen for this. And the end music is just priceless. So uh, yeah, Faces of Death at number seven. And at number six we have the infamous Cannibal Holocaust by Roger Diodato. Everyone already knows about this, so I'm not going to go into any more details. Now I'm probably going to get hated, but I do think this movie is better. Cannibal Ferox at number five. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know why. I, I think I like the plot a little bit more, and uh, yeah, don't really know how to explain. I just like Cannibal Ferox more than Holocaust. I know most people like Holocaust more, but what the hell? And then number four, we have another French horror movie called Inside, and I'm not going to go into that many more details about that. And then we have number three, a Serbian film. Uh, this is. Disturbing, but not as disturbing as I think. Very many people say, oh, most disturbing movie of all time, but no, I don't agree with that. But I think it is a very, very good movie. I think it's very well made, and uh, I wasn't expecting that much from it the first time I was supposed to watch it, uh, since the director haven't really done anything else before this movie, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, I just loved it, and uh, even though it is very cruel and vile, I think it's one of the best disturbing movies out there. So yeah, a Serbian film at number three. And at number two, we have another Larry Clark movie called Bully. And I think the reason why I like this so much is because sometimes you can feel like you're a part of this gang that commit this uh, this uh, crime. And um, you know that you've made a great movie when you can sort of feel like you're a part of all this madness. So yeah, Bully at number two. And at number one is a movie which is sort of the same type of thing as uh, Bully. You can feel like you're like a, part, a third member of this uh, duo, if you say so. And the movie is Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. With Michael Rooker and... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Tom Towles, rest in peace by the way, passed away uh, this year as well, I guess. Um, yeah, this movie is really great. The sequel is, uh, is really good as well. Not as good as the first one, but it's watchable. And But this one is just a masterpiece in my opinion. This might be one of the best serial killer movies that I've ever seen. 
yeah, Henry Portrait of Serial Killer, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's just so awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored, and I hope to see you again as soon as possible. So see you next time. Bye-bye.